Tonight we're here to explore the concept of shelter and the different forms that it takes, whether it's physical shelter from the elements or not, as Daniel will speak to, I'm sure, shelter for our own safety and security, or shelter as an internal respite from the crazy world around us, and where we find sanctuary, whether that's through a place or activity or a person. So we have four fantastic panellists here tonight who I'm sure you are going to hear some really interesting stories from. And we'll be discussing this concept from their quite unique and very different perspectives. So to briefly introduce them, next we've got Ben Saunders. So since 2001, Ben, the explorer, has covered more than 7,000 kilometres on foot in polar regions, exceeding the 10,000 steps a day, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. He's the third person in history to ski solo to the North Pole, and he holds the record for the longest human-powered polar journey, trekking for 105 days from the coast of Antarctica to the South Pole and back again, an exhibition which defeated the likes of Sir and Shackleton. Suffice to say, he's more than familiar with harsh conditions. <laughs> Down here in the end, we've got Daniel Charbonnier. He's a hospitality veteran, managing director of Minds in Motion, who are an advisory firm for the travel sector. He's also the co-founder of Nullstern, a somewhat controversial hotel in the Swiss Alps, with no walls or roof, where guests sleep under the stars and a bed open to the elements. There is a butler, though, um, and I'm sure we'll hear a bit more about this later. Next up, we have Huard Lund, so who's a celebrated composer and jazz musician, who, in his spare time, uh, founded an Arctic hideaway, which I'm not going to try and pronounce, um, which is the world's most